Well, this is the first time I've ever had to do this before. Yes, this is a seizure warning. If you are prone to seizures or have photosensitive epilepsy, do not watch this video. I wouldn't even risk scrolling down or something. Even if you don't, I highly suggest you watch this video with the lights on as far away from your monitor as possible. I wanted to put some filters over this to make it a little more bearable, but then I realized that'd be like removing the torture scenes from Ren Seek's help. Some of the stuff needs to be seen to help people realize why it doesn't work. But I'm going to warn you right now, a lot of people say that terrible movies or whatever is painful to sit through. This is one of the few times where that's literal. This literally hurt me to sit through, mostly because of all the eye strain that it causes. And why is that? Because it looks like an LSD trip in Neo Tokyo. No joke, some scenes contain so many bright flashing colors that my computer has trouble rendering them. Like, how does this even happen? Hey, what color should we use for this background? All of them! What about this one? All of them! All the fucking colors! Sometimes less is more, guys. There are plenty of shows that have shown me worse things on screen, but this show has the worst visuals, period. On the standard that the nightmares notwithstanding, even the worst shows that I've seen before now would not have caused me physical pain. And keep in mind that I watched a few episodes to pick the ripest fish in the barrel. I literally could only watch one a day because my eyes were watering by the time it was done and I had a migraine. Like, I was already going nearsighted before I watched this show. I don't want to know what this is going to do to my vision overall. Eventually, I gave up and decided to go with the first episode. I don't even know where to begin. These are some of the worst designed characters that I've ever seen. Like, first of all, what's wrong with their eyes? And why is that robot's eyes sideways? The brown thing. That's Domo. If he was hit on the head and given brain damage. This Domo thing's name is Alfe, and I hate him. The other two characters are passable as far as blandness goes, but Alfe? My god, is he an asshole! Like, he starts the episode eating all the pizza, and then annoying his friends for theirs, and getting angry when they wouldn't give him any of theirs. This is literally the first scene of the first episode. The concept, I think, is that these three guys are detectives. Let's just say that the plot matches the visuals perfectly. The biggest problem they have right now is that they're out of pizza. Okay, so if I got this straight, we're supposed to be interested in this episode because some guy ate all of his friend's pizza and he wants more of it. He's also totally unlikable, so I can't care about his endeavors. If I wanted to watch someone eating for 11 minutes with bright flashing visuals, I'd play a game of Pac-Man. We get a title sequence that says... nothing really. People throughout time have solved problems, and this is the story of some of them. I talk about how stupid this is, but I'm too distracted by my own eyes watering. I could only write the script for this review, watching the actual episode in one minute intervals. But, at least I don't think the visuals can get any worse. Unless, of course, they steal some character designs from Mr. Pickles. Alfe continues to be a bit of an ass, and Robaz states that he doesn't like old people. Ah yeah, ageism. That's what I like in my characters. Except the kids next door, they're awesome. And they have an excuse. A woman comes by, clearly voiced by a man, and says that she took her elementary school class to an amusement park. When they went on roller coaster, they all became older. We say that these are elementary school students through freeware clip art. This is the point where I usually get angry because using stock pictures in your cartoon is lazy, but they clearly spend all of their time making the backgrounds as seizure-inducing as possible. Seriously, who thought this was a good design choice? Were they blind? Or were they blind and wanted to make everyone else blind as some kind of bizarre bitterness? This is never more apparent than it is at the amusement park. Just one of these scenes uses literally every color that there is. Here's how bright colors are supposed to work. You're supposed to use them on the one thing that you want to draw attention to. It's called contrast. Also, I didn't touch on this before, but the voice acting is really bad. To make Robas sound like a robot, his voice is gargled beyond all belief. And Alfei's voice is just painful to listen to. No wait, I can't use that word anymore without meaning it. The visuals are painful. Alfei's voice is gravelly and uncomfortable. They eventually come across a roller coaster called the Time Twister. 50 years from now, the future human race will construct a roller coaster capable of traveling through time itself. Really? It's only the first episode, and you want to do something as complex as time travel. Time travel is one of the few plots that I have never seen done completely right. No matter how good the story is, there's always something left on the wayside, even if the only reason is fixing the time stream would stop the heroes from needing to fix the time stream. 
This is what you want to try with your first episode. I grant that time travel can be fun and has lots of possibilities, but you're just not ready yet. Going forward on the roller coaster made all of the kids older, so Alpha just puts them on and sends them back in time. All the while, the other two are talking about how risky doing that would be. And if the visuals weren't bad enough before, the scenes that take place on the roller coaster are the absolute worst. There is a chance you will get a seizure. Problem solved. Great, episode over, I can go home. No, I wish. Instead of actually having any idea of what a story is, the problem solvers solve the problem by boarding up the roller coaster. Okay, I'm not an artist myself, but even I know that you never want any characters in the foreground to be matching the colors in the background. That's just poor design. You obviously have every color in the box, and yet you chose the only definitively wrong one. Alfe can't sleep because he didn't eat the other two pieces of pizza, so he... So that's why I keep having nightmares about a mutant domo coming into my bedroom and whispering into my ear asking me for pizza. Not only do they look creepy, but they have to do creepy things as well. When Horace says the pizza time was yesterday, Alfei decides to go back in time to make it pizza time. Instead of just buying a slice like they were planning to do earlier. What the fuck? He starts going through time and steals a piece of pizza. Then, oh my god. It's a landscape with muted colors! Hallelujah, my eyes can finally take a little bit of a break! Oh my fucking god, my eyes! They really hurt. They really fucking hurt. Alpha here comes out of the time machine younger, and with a dinosaur, who doesn't appear to be any older. Continuity? What's that? The next day, Robaz says that he's detecting some time travel. Then Alfei acts like a jerk. When Robaz asks to scan some of his pizza, Alfei eats it. Then he's upset that he's out of pizza. What's the moral of the story here? You can't have your pizza and eat it too? You know, I never got that saying. If you're not going to eat your cake, what are you supposed to do with it? Nail it to the wall? Stare at it until it gets moldy? The only purpose to having a cake is eating it. Yes, I'm stalling. Look, my eyes hurt. You try getting through an episode of Problem Solvers in one sitting and tell me how easy it is. You know, if you don't go blind. You wanna hear a story? I sat through Electric Soldier Porygon without trouble, which despite popular belief, has bright flashing lights all over the place. I got through it with minimal issue. This though, I have to take a break each minute to get this script done. Alfe goes back in time again and again and again. After he turns into a baby though, he doesn't get any younger. You know, he doesn't fade into non-existence. Eventually, the problem solvers finally realize that something is up and they go to this snooty dog person. Any effort of voice acting went to him. They ask him how to solve the problem because they're not good at doing the one thing they're supposed to do. We have to destroy the time twister at its source so none of this ever happens, happened, or will have had happened. Ah yes, 50 years in the future. To reach the end of time, there awaits Eternatron. Or that. Continuity, what's that? People have said that the show isn't so bad if you look past the visuals, but I have, and nearly went blind doing it. What I see are horrible characters, bad voice acting, and inconsistent writing in the time spent of 11 minutes. It gets nothing right. Alpha gets back to his normal age, but the other two don't get older. You're younger. And the anti-wrinkle cream I put on you and me while we sleep is protecting us from aging. TMI, buddy. TMI. They make it to the future where, oh my god, they've learned about dominant color. It only took them to the literal end of time to figure it out, but they finally got it. Yes, scenes that focus on one particular color usually look better than ones that are all over the place. At the end of time, they fight a badly animated watch thing, and I don't care, I'm just happy that they're giving some mercy to my eyes. To defeat the watch thing, they go back in time and- Duh! My eyes! Ow! Okay, you fuckers. That's it. It is so on. I am taking whatever's left of this piece of shit down! Stop. I don't have time for this old man. This show nearly left me blind. I don't want to know what kind of damage this has actually done to me. Sometimes the louder that you shout, the less the people will hear you. What's that supposed to mean? I told you. You weren't ready for Ren Seek's help. It changed you too much. You're becoming angrier, more brutal, and more sporadic. So what? It allowed me to take on some of the worst of the worst, things I can never imagine taking on. Once upon a time, the splinter made me vomit. Now I laugh at the person I once was. I have the power to take on anything now. Power is nothing without grace. You may know how to unleash all this anger, but there's still much you have to learn. There's a where and when, and now is not the time. 
Look, look around you, old guy. This is the worst design show I've ever seen. A show has never given me this much eye strain before. I can barely keep my eyes open. How can this be not the time to release my inner anger? Because this is one of the worst things that you've ever seen. I, I don't get you. Any man can get angry when fighting a foe or a dragon, but the man who can stay calm in the face of even the greatest adversary is the one who most often wins. Sometimes the stronger blow isn't the one that wins, but the one that sees the weak points in the heat of the heaviest, fastest battle. Right. I never used to be able to talk. There was always this inner storm that I could never get out. Now that it is out, I can't seem to contain it. If you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. Finish this review. All right, I'll, I'll try, and I'll try to do it calmly. Alve goes through time and gets a bunch of his former selves. Altogether, they topple the big bad in a really brutal display. I could bring up the fact that Alve, the worst character, is almost always the one who saves the day. But on another note, this episode reminds me of an episode of SpongeBob, Back to the Past. That episode might be a little hard to watch because of a rather harsher and hindsight joke that I don't have time to delve into here. But the episode ends with a bunch of clones of past Spongebob and Patrick coming in and confusing Man Ray into submission. And it is one of the funniest endings I've seen. In fact, it probably would be number 26 on my modern Spongebob list. That currently Viacom is removed, but I digress. Here though, this is just really disgusting. Not to mention that the wild animation makes it hard to sit through in its own right. Well, I solved the problem because I'm totally awesome. How do you feel? Angry, insulted, the usual. I don't know what I or anyone was really expecting. From the art style, you can tell it's going to be either really avant-garde or really incompetently made. And for the concept, you know that it's the former. If you can get past the overly bright colors, and that's a hard if, the characters provide nothing to like. They're bland at best and jerks at worst. The voice acting doesn't help matters, and the writing can't keep things straight in 11 minutes. Despite having a distinctive visual style, the writing doesn't lend this world any real identity beyond an LSD trip. Hmm. No rage. How interesting. Why would there be rage? After this, I'm looking forward to the next atrocity. All I gotta do is stare at a dog's giant anus for 22 minutes. After what I've been through today, that's nothing. Be sure to treat it as nothing, then. I'll try. And that's all that's important at this time. Well, this is the first time I've ever had to do this before. Yes, this is a seizure warning. If you are prone to seizures or have photosensitive epilepsy, do not watch this video. I wouldn't even risk scrolling down or something. Even if you don't, I highly suggest you watch this video with the lights on as far away from your monitor as possible. I wanted to put some filters over this to make it a little more bearable, but then I realized that'd be like removing the torture scenes from Ren Seek's health. Some of the stuff needs to be seen to help people realize why it doesn't work. But I'm going to warn you right now, a lot of people say that terrible movies or whatever is painful to sit through. This is one of the few times where that's literal. This literally hurt me to sit through. Mostly because of all the eye strain that it causes. And why is that? Because it looks like an LSD trip in Neo Tokyo. No joke, some scenes contain so many bright flashing colors that my computer has trouble rendering them. Like, how does this even happen? Hey, what color should we use for this background? ALL OF THEM! What about this one? ALL OF THEM! ALL THE FUCKING COLORS! Sometimes less is more, guys. There are plenty of shows that have shown me worse things on screen, but this show has the worst visuals, period. On the standard that the nightmares notwithstanding, even the worst shows that I've seen before now would not have caused me physical pain. And keep in mind that I watched a few episodes to pick the ripest fish in the barrel. I literally could only watch one a day because my eyes were watering by the time it was done and I had a migraine. Like, I was already going nearsighted before I watched this show. I don't want to know what this is going to do to my vision overall. Eventually, I gave up and decided to go with the first episode. Pizza, awesome. Mm, give me some pizza. Okay. Abort. Pizza. 
I don't even know where to begin. These are some of the worst designed characters that I've ever seen. Like, first of all, what's wrong with their eyes? And why is that robot's eyes sideways? The brown thing. That's Domo. If he was hit on the head and given brain damage. This Domo thing's name is Alfe, and I hate him. The other two characters are passable as far as blandness goes, but Alfe? My god, is he an asshole! Like, he starts the episode eating all the pizza, and then annoying his friends for theirs, and getting angry when they wouldn't give him any of theirs. This is literally the first scene of the first episode. The concept, I think, is that these three guys are detectives. Let's just say that the plot matches the visuals perfectly. The biggest problem they have right now is that they're out of pizza. Okay, so if I got this straight, we're supposed to be interested in this episode because some guy ate all of his friend's pizza and he wants more of it. He's also totally unlikable, so I can't care about his endeavors. If I wanted to watch someone eating for 11 minutes with bright flashing visuals, I'd play a game of Pac-Man. We get a title sequence that says... nothing really. People throughout time have solved problems, and this is the story of some of them. I talk about how stupid this is, but I'm too distracted by my own eyes watering. I could only write the script for this review, watching the actual episode in one minute intervals. But at least I don't think the visuals can get any worse. Unless, of course, they steal some character designs from Mr. Pickles. Alfe continues to be a bit of an ass, and Robaz states that he doesn't like old people. Ah yeah, ageism. That's what I like in my characters. Except the kids next door, they're awesome. And they have an excuse. A woman comes by, clearly voiced by a man, and says that she took her elementary school class to an amusement park. When they went on roller coaster, they all became older. We say that these are elementary school students through freeware clip art. This is the point where I usually get angry because using stock pictures in your cartoon is lazy, but they clearly spend all of their time making the backgrounds as seizure-inducing as possible. Seriously, who thought this was a-